Hi everybody, thank you for joining me. I'm back with another early look at a Beatles related release. I've been incredibly lucky lately, I realise this, to have had hold of some products early. And this is one that I've just been so busy over the last week or so, I hadn't had a chance to do anything about, but I got the opportunity yesterday to get hold of a copy of the new John Lennon 50th anniversary Imagine white vinyl. I'm gonna show you this now. I would like to thank the person who arranged this for me. Uh, I don't know how much longer I'll continue to get early look at some of these products, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna uh, enjoy it while I can. So here you go. This, this is just quite because it is on the 9th of September, it is the 50th anniversary of the release of Imagine. We got the box set in 2018 with the new mixers on, same mix that's on here. But this is for people who either want to commemorate the 50th anniversary, and if you're a completist, or there might be people who missed out in 2018 and now want to get hold of the album on vinyl. So let me get you a close up of this and I'll just read this out to you. So this is Imagine John Lennon, the Ultimate Mixers 2LP White Vinyl 180 grams, 50th anniversary limited edition, completely remixed from the original multi-tracks, 10 album tracks plus an extra LP of 12 outtakes. So yeah, this is the same mix as we got in 2018. It is also the same uh, outtakes on the second disc okay so so don't be thinking you're getting new product here this is if you want an alternate version or maybe you didn't get the previous version so there is the track listing on the back there hopefully you can see that okay so let me show you what else is in here so there are a couple of postcards there is a, an Imagineera um, image that you've probably seen not used that often but it is there and another postcard, the, the infamous and more famous John holding a pig um, in response to uh, Paul's Ram album cover. Naughty, naughty John. Uh, there is also a big poster in here. So I'll just show you this. I'll open this up. So this is John sat at his famous white piano. Imagineera. There you go. So hopefully you can see all of that. But that, that's a big old poster, is that? So that's nice if you want that. There is uh, then the two albums. So I will show you first of all the main album. So the, the style of this, if you've got the 2018, you'll be familiar with it. Uh, it's been used on previous releases as well. Nice to see the Apple logo there. But we have got inside white vinyl. Now, I haven't played this yet. I'm going to play in a moment and then come back and I'm gonna tell you how I feel the sound compares to the 2018 version in terms of you know how clean a copy of it, uh, is it the, any sort of background noise, that kind of thing. So bear with me because I will be back with you in a moment to show you how that goes. But this is the second disc, this is LP2, the outtakes. So it's uh, there's a bit of static in there, so I might consider there's quite a bit of static here. I might consider swapping this to a polyline sleeve just to help that. Um, but I'll show you the cover first of all. So uh, I've got information there about the outtakes, about each song that's on it. And it tells you there that LP1 is the ultimate mixers and gives information about, uh, well, sort of from Paul Hicks there about his uh, new mixing of the album. So there's the outtakes disc. Again, the white vinyl outtakes. So that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna play this thing. I'll be back in one second, let you know what I think. So that was interesting. I concentrated mainly on dropping the needle at the start of the sides and I concentrated on the end of the sides as well to see if there was any inner, inner groove distortion. And it was really quiet throughout. Uh, I was really impressed at how quiet it was because I know some people thought that there was a bit of background noise on the 2018 clear edition. I thought this was really quiet personally and it sounded really good to me. So I'm, I'm very happy with the sound quality with that. Um, I, I will certainly use this as a, one of my go-to versions for Imagine. Uh, so if you're thinking of getting that, let me know. Um, I hope that's been useful for you to get sight of this 50th anniversary edition of Imagine, happy birthday to the classic album, and I will see you again very soon. Thank you, bye bye.